In this video I'll be demonstrating some basic reel drills that are often used by cave and wreck divers. I'll be using a 120 metre reel which is ideal as a primary reel for technical diving. The video is split into three sections. First I'll go through a series of indoor tiles which can be practiced pretty much anywhere. Then I'll demonstrate the laying of line in an outdoor setting with a little bit more space simulating more accurately one does during a dive before finally demonstrating the same skills in an open water environment. The first wrap you probably ever learnt isn't really considered a wrap at all in the cave diving community. You just take it round the object without locking it off and continue, but it will probably slip so I've only included it as a comparison here to the other wraps. An improvement is a locking pull around wrap where you pass it under or over the object around but then lock it off by passing it under or over the line. Tighten it and off you go. These should keep the line taut. If the object you're trying to place the line on is small enough you can actually do the locking pull around wrap with one hand. Just take the line, turn it on itself and put it on the object and continue. For a more secure version of the strap you simply do it twice. Take a turn of line as before, place it on the object, but immediately follow it up with another turn of line, place it on top which locks it off nicely. This is also a very secure secondary tie off. One of the most common tie offs that are used in cave and wreck diving is the locking double pull around wrap. Take it twice around the object, back over the line or underneath, pull it tight and continue onwards and that should keep the line taut. The over under wrap is exactly the same wrap but applied a different way. You go twice around the object and then go back to the line coming into the tie off and put it back over the top. There are times when you might need to actually tie off the line itself because the object's too small. Extend a bite in the line, secure the reel by turning the nut, transfer to the little finger. Extend a bite in the line, pass over or under the object, back around tight and back through the hole. Tighten once and do a half hitch to secure it. Release the nut and off you go. If you want to do a tie off you can get off easily. There is a quick release version but I'm not a real fan of it. Extend a bite in the line lock the reel, pass the reel to the other hand, extend the bite, pass it over or under the object, back around and create another bite and it's the bite that you take through the hole this time. Pull it tight, keeping some tension on it, you have to put some tension on the line to the reel, then release the nut under tension and off you go. And just to demonstrate, this is how easily this particular tie-off comes off. One of the important rules in cave diving is to run a continuous, unbroken line to the surface. This is easily done by doing a primary tie-off either out of the water or immediately in the water. Putting a loop in the end of the line is the easiest way and threading the reel through this loop. If you wish greater security and to loop it round the object a few more times, that's okay too. Then deploy the line on your descent towards your secondary tie-off. As you're going, make sure to put a little bit of pressure on the reel itself. This prevents the light from getting slack and keeps it taut the whole time. When you've got into the entrance of the cave, either just inside or outside, you can do your secondary tie off and it can be any tie off but basically it can't come undone so in this case I'm doing a triple locking pull around wrap. If you want to test how good your secondary tie offs are disconnect the line between the primary and the secondary tie off pull on the line beyond the secondary tie off and you shouldn't get any slippage whatsoever. If that is the case then the tie off you have selected for your secondary tie off is an appropriate tie off. Now come with me as we lay some line to simulate a dive.
For the next part of the video, we're going to go to the open water environment and practice the skills there. Now this is with caves and wrecks in mind, but for this demonstration we'll do it in the ocean. I'm going to use my side mount harness, which is a Gollum Gear Armadillo, and I'm going to be using the same reel. The reel's best attached to the back of the crutch strap, but mine's a little bit low. So for this demonstration I'm going to have it on one of the back D-rings.